It may look a bit ungainly, but this car isn't trying to win a beauty contest. It's powered by hydrogen gas, pumped into the car right here. There are just 300 cars like this in the whole of Germany. Currently, Toyota and Hyundai are the only manufacturers to offer them here, according to Zibilla Rieper. She works for a company that promotes hydrogen fuel infrastructure. Today, she's taking us on a test spin through Hamburg. So, what's it like? You'll have to give it a try and get behind the wheel. I wouldn't say no. That's what I figured. Is your car? It belongs to the company I work for, H2 Mobility. But in fact, I've just ordered myself one. So it's not exactly cheap. No, it's not. What does it cost? With the help of government incentives, you can lease a car like this for about 600 euros a month. And it would cost about 75,000 euros to buy one? That's a list price. 75,000 euros would normally get you a luxury model. So it's no surprise that Toyota leases most of its hydrogen fuel vehicles. The car maker is hoping to win over Germans to the idea of hydrogen-powered, emissions-free vehicles. Everything OK back there? Yeah. We're about to go into a tunnel. How long is it? No idea. But you're a local. Sorry. <laughs> Are we going north or south? South, under the Elbe River. So not to Italy? We could. That would be no problem with hydrogen fuel. On our app, you can even see where you can get fuel. I'll be taking my own Mirai on a ski holiday later this month. We'll get fuel in Innsbruck, and we could also fill up in Bolzano. These days, international travel with a hydrogen-powered car is no problem. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Zibilla Rieper's company, H2 Mobility, is working to expand the network of fueling stations for hydrogen cars. The startup is based in Berlin and receives funding from the German government and industry partners. The fueling stations cost about 1 million euros each. So does building them even make economic sense? Yeah. Markets always grow in parallel. In other words, infrastructure and consumer numbers grow hand in hand. Infrastructure has to be a step ahead or take the first step. We'll have 100 fueling stations built by 2019, and we're seeing the number of cars and vehicle fleets grow accordingly. Currently, Germany has just 41 hydrogen fuel filling stations, like this one in Hamburg. Total and Shell are two of the companies involved in H2 Mobility. Along with diesel and gasoline, they also offer hydrogen fuel. It's sold by weight, not volume. Here it costs €9.50 per kilo. I've arranged to talk to a customer. How much did he get? 2.2 kilos, just under 21 euros. How far can you drive on those 2 kilos? I'd estimate about 200 kilometers, give or take. So about 100 kilometers a kilo? About that, but it can vary. Now it's my turn. <laughs> this will be interesting. <laughs> I hope we're insured. Yes, you were kind enough to sign a liability agreement. Agreement? Yeah, of course you signed one. Stop. Cut. I want to know when I can finally push the power mode button. Let's wait until we stop at a light. Then you'll really notice the acceleration. Okay. <laughs> When it turns green, we'll see. Hamburg, here we come. Here we go. Stop, 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 stop. 50. Oh, man, man, man. What happens if I now crash into a car? Will we blow up because of all the hydrogen on board? 
that something people are worried about. Hydrogen is so light that it immediately dissipates if you have a crash. If you have an accident with a gasoline-powered vehicle, the gasoline can leak onto the ground. It remains flammable for some time afterwards. But hydrogen is lighter than air, so it disperses in the air. I managed to avoid crashing the car, just as well given its price and rarity. Sibylla Rieper hopes we'll be seeing more hydrogen-powered cars in the future. Mercedes is set to launch the world's first plug-in hydrogen vehicle later this year.